can take flight. Circle in the moon with a cat's all tail on fire. No tender returns in a snowstorm of desire. Two hours past midnight and one more to the state line. The road over the pass is steep and frozen in time. She says, I know just where I'm going and that's where I'm supposed to be far away from Cleveland and the arms that won't hold me Ooh, you go fly everyone, my name is Lara Manzanares and this is Jordan Wax joining me on a variety of instruments. Um, we're happy to be here with you today. That last song was a song that I wrote uh, about a friend of mine who came to New Mexico from somewhere else. Um, I'm from New Mexico, I was born here uh, and grew up running around in the fields and the mesas and the valleys and behind sheep. I grew up on a sheep ranch and learned how to weave with the wool and all these cool things. Um, many of the cool things that this state has in it. I also grew up listening to some really cool music, which we're gonna keep playing for you now. This is a song uh, that I really loved as a kid and it's sort of a nonsense song in a way. Um, it sort of talks about a world that's a bit topsy-turvy. 
Tur yeah, topsy turvy. That's the that's the way you say it. And uh, and it's it's kind of like um, Ring Around the Roses in a way. It, it does it talks about uh, disease and things just being out of balance and kind of crazy, but it's in a real kind of playful way. So um, I used to like this song as a kid, and. Uh, it's called Frijolitos Pintos, and it's 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 a cool song. It's there's a dog running around looking for its tail, but its tail is actually gone. So it's there's this sort of nonsense part. There's uh, it says Le dio la viruela, le dio el sarampión, se quedó en la cara como un chicharrón. So it's like they he got the the pox, he got the measles, and uh, it stayed on his face like a chicharrón, you know. It's, um, kind of interesting and then uh, there's a mother-in-law who's coming down the hill and she jumps over a pile of wood and does a somersault uh, and then there's this figure named Vicente who's coming and they say take out a banquito para que se siente so take out a little chair for him to sit down so I don't know who Vicente is but lucky person you know very welcome well, this is uh, Frijolitos Pintos Frijolitos pintos, claveles morados, ay como sufren los enamorados. Mamacita linda, ahí viene Vicente, sácale un banquito para que se siente. Le dio la viruela, le dio el sarampión, se quedó en la cara como un chicharrón. Ahí viene mi suegra bajando la loma, brinca la leña y echa una maroma. Pinta, pinta y orejona, busca la cola y la tiene rabona. Mamacita linda, ahí viene Vicente, sácale un banquito para que se siente. Le dio la viruela, le dio el sarampión, se quedó en la cara como un chicharrón. Ahí viene mi suegra bajando la loma, brinca la leña y echa una maroma. Claveles morados, ay como sufren los enamorados Mamacita linda, ahí viene Vicente Sácale un banquito para que se siente Le dio la viruela, le dio el sarampión Se quedó en la cara como un chicharrón Ahí viene mi suegra bajando la loma Brinca la leña y echa una maroma Thank you. Frijolitos Pintos. That's a great dancing song. Uh, that's another thing growing up was uh, I had family members who loved, loved to dance. And uh, my great-grandfather, actually, his name was Eluterio Martinez, and he was a piano player, a local musician in Tierra Maria, which is the town I'm from. And um, so as a really little kid, that was probably my first live music experience <laughs> was hearing him uh, play so many tunes on the piano, uh, American standards, but also New Mexican, uh, New Mexican tunes. This next song, in keeping with the dancing, is a song that I wrote. Um, 
and what should I say? It's about Little Red Riding Hood, uh, but it's a Little Red Riding Hood that is not afraid of the wolf. Uh, in fact, she likes him quite a bit. And the chorus, the chorus says, hey, little wolf, come right here by my side. Take off my little red riding hood and bite me just a little bit. Yeah? All right, Lobito, it's called. Hi, Lobito, ponte a mi ladito. Quítame la caperucita roquita y muérdeme un poquito. Quítame la caperucita roquita y muérdeme un poquito. Con tus ojos tan grandes no me dejas de ver. Y con tus incisivos masivos me quieres comer. This next song is actually one of the first songs that I ever remember hearing my grandpa, Eleuterio Martinez, play on the piano. And we learned how to dance to it when we were really little. And I, I still, whenever I'm at my grandma's house and I sit down at the piano and kind of play it, my grandma can't hardly walk anymore, but, uh, but she, starts, she starts doing the steps, you know? She starts doing the steps. And so do I, and I think I will all my life. Uh, so it's so it's pretty powerful. It's card called La Varsoviana, and I grew up hearing it just with the tune, uh, but Jordan, who has tons of knowledge about traditional New Mexican music, um, he actually has some words. Do you want to talk about, about the lyrics? Yeah, we, uh, I heard these from Antonia Polaca, who we just lost this year at, at 96. She's a legend of traditional music here in New Mexico. And she sang these these words, and we've sang these, you know, around the state at different places, and and have gotten some comments that oh, that reminds me of these other words that are even less appropriate for general <laughs> audiences. So I guess there were lots of words out there to this melody, but <laughs> cool. But these are these are rated G. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Madre Mónica, con Madre Mónica, con Madre Mónica, venga a bailar. La Barceliánica, la Barceliánica, la Barceliánica van a tocar. Mascando chiclete, mascando chiclete, mascando chiclete con anidad. Mascando chiclete, corriendo chiclete, mascando chiclete no sabe dar. Como lo bailan señores, como me enseñan a bailar. Como lo bailan toditos en el día de carnaval. Como lo bailan señores, como me enseñan a bailar. Como lo bailan toditos en el día de carnaval. wanted to get up and dance. Oops. Okay. So as I was sitting here playing rhythm guitar for Jordan on the violin, um, it reminded me of high school when I used to play with my grandmother, who also played the violin. I would play rhythm guitar for her on uh, sort of classic country and bluegrass tunes. Um, and this next song is called Writing Letters, and it was inspired by some letters that I found at this grandmother's home. And they were letters from the Civil War era, uh, letters between, I don't remember if there were letters from both, both parties, but I remember there being letters that someone was writing to or from someone who was far away from home. It seemed that perhaps they were um, out fighting, you know, in some place in the, in, the, in the war and someone else was at home, you know, writing letters back and forth. So that was, that was one nugget of inspiration for, for this song. It's called Writing Letters.
that you'd own my hand They'd fit him really well I had to wash him for him Cause he don't know how I spend most of my days Just putting things away But last night's potato salad Turned out just right The car broke down I got it fixed At that place you hate I wish you were here So maybe we could have a fight Would you be proud of me? Would you be ashamed of me? And after all is said and done Would you even give a damn? As much as we strain to see The past is a melody And though we try to grab it We can never pin it down writing letters and my grandma visited again during that song she used to hate when my hair would fall on my face she would say get your hair out of your face my hair went like that I thought oh there you are grandma all right uh, we are joined now by mr. Felix Gato Peralta uh, who I like to call the Genisaro Hank Williams. <laughs> um, there's not enough time to explain to right now what a Genisaro is, but it's part of the very rich and complex uh, history of New Mexico and the intermingling uh, between the different cultures here over the years um, in a variety of, of complicated ways, uh, which has produced us. Um, you know, lots of different influences, lots of different um, bloodlines all together. So uh, Felix Gato Peralta is going to join us for a song called Dos Corazones, um, which uh, he and I wrote together.
se queda dañado por los desamores y un triste pasado dejamos volar las sombras de so much, Mr. Felix Peralta. He is also the front man for Felix y los Gatos, and you can find his work online as well. Um, just Google Felix y los Gatos. Thank you. Yeah. So it's been wonderful to get to play music uh, with my friends here today and with you all. It's been just really great. Um, but, you know, we're going through a time where many of us can't necessarily get together with our friends and family, uh, not in the way that we would like to. I have spent lots of time in my life um, walking alone, mostly by choice, <laughs> when I was a little kid following behind the sheep on the sheep ranch or moving them through the mountains or just kind of wandering around in um, the underbrush, <laughs> in the forest, in the bosque. More recently, I did a lot of walking here in New Mexico along the acequias. An acequia is what we call, it's an irrigation ditch, but it's more complicated than that, more complex. There's a really rich history of how that came to be, originating in, in North Africa and ending up here in New Mexico. Anyway, um, I walked along the acequias quite often uh, a few years ago when I found myself, I found myself unable to overcome an illness um, and unable to understand what it was exactly. So I spent many afternoons just walking because that's, that's what I could do, you know? And that's what I still do these days, go out and walk. And on these walks, uh, songs come to me. And this next song is a song that I developed during these walks when everything was uncertain and I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, and I would sing this song to myself to kind of help myself feel better. And every once in a while, I get a chance to share it uh, in the hopes that maybe somebody out there will also find it useful. It's called Little Body, um, which actually comes from Cuerpecito Mio, my little body, the Spanish turned into English, so it's a little body. Little body, why are you breaking? Little body, mine just remember as you are quaking that I love you till the end of time I have dragged you across the desert we have climbed a thousand trees I almost lost you in the river and in the city you were eaten up by thieves little body why are you breaking little body of mine just remember as you are quaking that I love you till the end of time. 
You have fallen from heights so lofty. You caused the blood red dust to rise. I have forged you a steely armor and pushed you back up to the sky. Little body, why are you breaking? Little body, mine, just remember as you are quaking that I love you till the end of time. Too many times, dear, I have betrayed you. I have left you all alone. Let a stranger come between us and force his way into our home. Little body, why are you breaking? Little body, stay with me. I am yours now for the taking and my body you will always be. Yes, I am yours now for the taking and my body you will always be. This next song is called Borderlands.
Borderlands. All right. Thank you so much for being with us today and visiting us here in New Mexico. Beautiful New Mexico. This next tune uh, is in a traditional style. Um, and I think I will let Jordan talk about the tune because he is one of the authors. Yeah, this, this tune was a, kind of a collaboration, like, like a lot of tr traditional music uh, between a lot of people. The words were kind of fragments from writings by uh, Nazario Garcia, who's an oral historian here in New Mexico and has written a lot about the community he's from on the Rio Puerco. And uh, uh, Shilvana Coelho was making a film with him and kind of put some of his words together in this poem and uh, asked me to write, set them to music. And the first part of the melody is actually old traditional waltz uh, from the Bernalillo area, and then kind of went, went from there. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's actually, it's called an indita, um, which again is too much to really explain <laughs> right here. That's a whole, a whole explanation. Um, but the song is called Indita del Rio Puerco. Mm -hmm.
estaba muy chiquita y señor. Yo me acuerdo, aunque estaba muy chiquita y señor. That last song talked about memories of water in the river. A river that's now dry. Also called an arroyo here in New Mexico. We have lots of rivers here, but many of them don't have water in them, but we still call them rivers. And that's the atmosphere that I grew up in here sort of desert, high desert or desert. For a while though, I lived outside of the state, California, Wisconsin, and other places. And when I was in California, I met a lot of people who really loved the ocean and they couldn't wrap their heads around living in a place that didn't have a huge body of water next to it. I started calling these wonderful friends of mine wonderful people. I called them sea babies. And then one day, as I was walking down the street, I thought to myself, oh, wait a minute. If all my friends are sea babies, then what am I? I'm a land baby, desert baby, cactus eating sand lady. A land baby, desert baby, cactus eating sand lady. I need lots of space to think. I need mountain water to drink. Where the sun turns your skin to leather and your heart into gold. I'm a land baby, desert baby, cactus eating sand lady. A land baby, desert baby, cactus eating sand lady. everyone so much for sticking with us this evening, afternoon, sorry, out here in New Mexico. Um, we're going to finish up the set with a, uh, a very special tune about our love for New Mexico. And I'll let Jordan explain the uh, origin of this song as well. Yeah, we, we mentioned Antonia Polaca at the beginning of the, the, the concert. And this is a, one that she composed. Uh, like I mentioned before, we, we just lost her this year at 96, which had a, a long life of, of uh, bringing a lot of music to, to New Mexico. And uh, this is a song she wrote about, about our home here 
and all the people who live here, uh, comparing the people to flowers, calling them estas lindas flores, the beautiful flowers of New Mexico. Muchas gracias por sintonizar. Thank you very much for tuning in and sticking with us this afternoon. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much as well to the Kennedy Center and the Arts Across America program and all of the people uh, behind the program, the people who have helped us out with production here. Um, you know, we really appreciate you uh, and, you know, you have our hearts. Uh, my name is Lara Manzanares, uh, and this is Jordan Wax, and we had Felix Peralta with us. There's more about us in the description. Um, you can find out more, though, about Jordan at lonepinion.com, uh, and more about myself at laramanzanares.com. And Felix, I think it's felixilosgatos.com, uh, but you can just Google him. He's, he's on the internet. He's around the internet, so uh, we, we do great work, and... Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Hey, you, please open the door. I can't wait anymore. My poor feet are aching. Hey, you, I can see your light.
said his name was Donald. Guess I'll see you.